Soul Garden. Welcome to another episode of The Urban Mystic. I am Skip Jennings, your inspirational teacher right here in the garden. And it is another brilliant episode. I love this time of year. And shout out to Julie Zipper because her birthday is sometime around this month. I don't know when it is, but I'm saying happy birthday. So I'm giving her some love. So here we go. We're talking about letting our light shine. It's that Leo consciousness that we all have within us. And in that Leo consciousness, it's about letting your greatness be known, stepping into your greatest life and not being afraid to share your light because that's a really important part about this time is stepping into it and bringing the light to a dark planet because some places in this planet is a little bit dark right now. It needs your love. It needs your consciousness. And what are you shining? The Christ consciousness within yourself. So let's talk about this is self mastery. The first week we did blocks. The second week we did action plan. This is self mastery. What does self mastery means? Living your greatest life possible, going straight on, being bigger than you ever thought you could be. So let's do it. The first action plan or the first self mastery tool tip is this. The word is loyalty. I'm going to add something else onto that is dedication. When you're self-mastering yourself, it's about standing and being counted for and being loyal to what God has told you to do. You must be loyal. You must be dedicated. See, we get these great ideas and we know we should be doing it and then we abandon those ideas when we find that it's a little bit challenging. Where's your loyalty standing today? Is it fly by night or is it anchored in God? Be dedicated. Be dedicated to your goals. Be dedicated to the vision. Be loyal to this divine idea that's coming through you right now. Your second key word we're going to talk about is personal dreams. In self-mastery, I really believe that we receive personal dreams all the time. I don't believe we just have one dream. I believe we have many dreams. And they come through you all the time. It's okay to have a new dream. It's okay to have a new vision. In fact, we do a lot of things about visioning. We do a lot of things that come through from our vision. We should all have a vision board. We should all be in meditation. We should all allow God's vision to come through us. That's where our personal dreams come from. It is vision. Your next key word we're going to talk about is imagination. Opening your imagination. Opening and inspiring new ideas. Creating something. From your imagination comes creativity. From creativity we catch these amazing thoughts. Begin to open yourself to receive and be receptive of divine thoughts. That's part of our imagination. It is divine. It is open. It is amazing to allow ourselves to be open to receive. See, you are the only person that can do these ideas. You're the only person that can imagine big enough and step into that vision and allow your light shine. It is time right now. We need those great ideas. Here's your last key word. We're going to talk about talent. Talent. Talent is a gift that God has given you. If you are one of those people that are doing something that you really don't want to be doing and you know your talents lies elsewhere, even within your job, maybe your talent in your job is creating more or writing more or management. It's time for you to pursue that dream. It's time for you to let your talent shine. It's time to let people know what your talents are. Remember, we don't do talents or we don't do our, our gifts to get anything. We have our talents and our gifts to give, to bless the planet, to bless our neighbors, to bless our coworkers, to bless our family. We are here to give, not to get. And it is our talents that helps us to give more God. Seven day challenge. Here we go. Allow your talents to shine. We must do something every single day to empower the vision. But we also must let people know, this is my talents. This is what I do really well. This is what I'm supposed to do. Let your boss know. Let your family know. Let us know here at the Soul Garden. Journal about it. And then email me. Let me know. 
Leave a comment after the show saying, this is my talent. This is what I want to go for. So here is your affirmation. Close your eyes. Be still for a moment. Let this affirmation affirm your self-mastery. Just for today, just for this moment, just for this breath, I know my life is blessed and full of divine creativity. Just for this moment, just for today, just for this breath, I know my life is blessed and full of creativity. See, when we know creativity, it starts to radiate and it comes through us. Allow your goals to be fueled with God. Allow your talents to shine. So one of my talents here at the, at the Soul Garden is inspiring people. And you can get a book of mine called Spirit Explosion to help you to find your way. You can click right on the front of the page right there where my face is, the Spirit Explosion. You can grab that book to help you. It is a workbook. Allow it to help you to generate your light. Remember, other practitioners are here. We have a lot of things that are going. It's on the right-hand side of Soul Garden. You'll see all the banners, all the different things that you can get here to inspire your life. Remember, share it. Let people know. Come on, place it on, on your Facebook. Do everything you need to do. Just, hmm. We're here to let this light shine of Soul Garden. And until next time, I'm Skip Jennings. Soul, soul.